This Friday is the feast day of the birthday of John the Baptist. John the Baptist has a number of feasts, but his birthday is obviously important. We see in the, the Luke and Infancy narratives the interplay between Mary becoming pregnant with Jesus and Elizabeth becoming pregnant with John the Baptist and the beginning of the lives of these two very important people for the beginning of our faith. John is born first and the prophecy of his birth starts first. And when we hear the gospel today, we're at the moment of Elizabeth giving birth to the child. But some important things have happened before then. Zachariah is struck dumb because of his disbelief that his wife could become pregnant. Mary has come to visit her cousin Elizabeth. The angel says that Elizabeth is six months pregnant and Mary stays for three months. And although in the narrative she disappears from the scene, you get the sense that she has stayed until the birth of John. And John himself is a, a player. If you like, he leaps in Elizabeth's womb when Mary arrives, herself pregnant with, with Jesus. And you get a sense that perhaps this is the first time that Mary has revealed her pregnancy to anyone and Elizabeth has revealed her pregnancy to anyone. The only person who might know anything about Elizabeth's pregnancy is Zachariah and he's dumb. And Joseph doesn't seem to have been told. It's a secret that they have and they're able to share with one another. Then finally, is the naming of John, and it's we're familiar with this kind of scene, because nobody in the family has ever been called that. And Zechariah, dumb as he is, writes down on a, a tablet, his name is John. And then he recovers the power of his speech and he's uttered the right thing for a change. And the response of the people is, who will this child be? A tremendous expectation is raised at the events of this child's birth. And it's a question that we ask ourselves about John. Who will this child be? A question we ask also about Jesus. Who will this child be? And maybe a question that we need to ask of ourselves too. What's expected of us? What, are, what shape are we going to grow into in our lives?